everyone knows Dr. John Gray. He's in the house on the red carpet premiere. Hi, you hear everybody screaming? <laughs> <laughs> You're so modest. Well, congratulations on being in this film. What role did you you uh, play in this in this film? Well, they just asked me a lot of questions about what I think. <laughs> so I'll be surprised as much as everybody else will. But I have a clear message. Men are from Mars, women are from Venus. How we can better understand each other, how we can sustain loving relationships. So many people love each other, but they end up getting divorced because they feel they're just too different. They can't communicate. They can't be the people they were at the beginning of the relationship. Because few people really know today how to bring out the best in your partner. It used to be our culture did it, but the culture's changed with women in the workplace. And this has created a lot more challenge for relationship, changing roles. How do we interact together? Do men become like women? Do women become like men? The real answer is women need to be more women. Men need to be more men, but respect each other. And that's what I help them to do. Well, do you believe in divorce? Oh, well, people, some people are getting married. Of course, I believe in divorce. Uh, half the population is divorced, <laughs> so I certainly see it. Some people are just not ready to be divorced. But in the 20 years I've been traveling, teaching men are from Mars, women are from Venus, since that book launched, every time I go anywhere, somebody comes up to me and says, we read that book, we were divorced, and we got back together because we understood each other better. And that's what I see happening. So much of the time, people are unnecessarily getting divorced. And some people really aren't ready to get married. They fall in love too soon. You know, people are maturing later these days. And it's a more complicated world. So until we learn to get our own lives together, we're not really ready to share it with somebody else. So in that case, clearly, divorce is a good idea. Well, what about if one person is growing in a different direction and they want different things, but yet they still have the love for that person? How do you communicate where you are having this common ground, this commonality, to so both of you grow, even though you may be doing different things? Well, I agree with that. I think we all have a different journey in this world, a soul's purpose. I feel I'm with my wife, who's my soulmate. I'll spend the rest of my life with her. I'm committed to making our relationship work. And yet, if I look at my life, I've had several careers. Many people have five, six careers, and they may have five, six marriages. You know, we, we tend to think that people should be who they were in their 20s, and they should just stick that way, and we do change. But there are many people who do strike a chord with each other, and they feel like you're my partner for life. And in that case, my message helps keep them together. And when people are ready to move on, and they want a divorce, my message helps them to get a divorce in a more positive way. Talk to me about unconditional love. You know, for children, we were automatically taught that we unconditionally love our children, no matter what they say or who they are, or what they, you know, they come to you and they can tell you the most awful thing, but yet we still love them. Why is it that we can't carry that on with our significant others? Why can't we unconditionally love them for who they are uh, and what they do? Well, in a minute, Marcy Shimoff, you'll interview her on unconditional love. She's great. I'm the expert on conditional love. And I think that if you're going to have an adult relationship, you need to have a balance of unconditional love and conditional love, which means conditional love in a positive sense is that you're sharing, is that I'm contributing to your life, you're contributing to mine. And if you don't contribute to my life, then I feel there's an imbalance and it doesn't feel so good. Unconditional love is really the foundation for a good relationship because in every relationship, there's times when your partner really can't give you anything. They have nothing to give. They need to give to themselves. And those times we have to have enough love for ourselves and a life so that we're not needy. And when we're not needy, we're not demanding more from our partners. Then we can access that unconditional love that says, even though you're having a hard time right now, I still love you. Or even though you've made some mistakes and I see that you're willing to make changes, I still love you. And we can start again. So starting over and starting over and starting over. Some people do it through many marriages. Other people do it in one marriage. And that's the power of forgiveness. And if you can stick it out and truly find forgiveness, your heart will be healed in ways that you can't imagine. What an honor and pleasure it is to meet you. And um, congratulations on all your success. Thank and you. enjoy the film tonight. Pleasure. Thank you.